So let's start to look how to change the background color in Chart.js 4. So to do this, first of all, we're going to get our default border template, which you can find on Chart.js3.com getting started this specific link, which is also as well can be found in the description box. So once you're on here, just copy this entire chunk of code. Then we're going to just paste that in there. We'll cut this out, put it in here. Save, refresh, there we are. So now what we want to do is we want to color this area within here. So how do we do this? Well, by default, it's not possible, but what we need to do here is access it with a plugin. So what we're going to create here is in the options or at least after here, say comma, I'm going to say plugins, and then we can say here a uh, chart area background color because that is basically called the chart area. So what we want to do now is create this plugin. Let's say here, plugin block constant chart background color area or chart area background color and then ID will be equal to that. And then we're going to say here, when would we like to draw the background color? Basically, we want to draw this before we draw the data sets or more even specifically, we can even do it before we want to draw these these uh, background lines here or these grid lines from the scales. So we're going to say here before draw. So basically before we draw anything else, we want to draw this item. And then we're going to say your chart, arcs, and plugins. Then what I want to do here is do an object destructuring constant equals chart. And if you don't know what the object destructuring is, I have a video in the description box where you will learn more about the object destructuring. Highly recommend you to watch that video as well. So what I want to have here is the chart area. And then I want to say here the top, the bottom, left and right. And we can probably get the width and height as well. So if I save this, refresh, nothing happens yet. But now we can start to add some color on our background. So what we want to do here, we're going to say here ctx.save to save the default value. And then we're going to say here ctx.fill rectangle. And fill rectangle is basically a canvas command that allows us to draw. And before I even go ahead, I forgot here the ctx, which allows us to draw in the canvas any shape we want. And then this here is a rectangle shape. So we want to make sure we have that. And then here we need the x value, the y starting position. And then we have here the width and the height. So this is quite easy for us. And I just see here a mistake. Like, let's fix that. So we know the width and the height is basically these two here. So we can just copy that and put them in here. But now we have here the X value, which we want to start here at the very left side here. And this is called the left side of the chart area. Put it in there. And then for the top, that's this area here, it's called the top area of the chart area. So the moment we have this, I want to do here finally a color. So I'm going to say here CTX at fill style for the specific color and we can get a simple color. And for now I'll just get uh, this black color here, but I will make sure that it will be transparent as well. So we're going to put it in here and then we're going to say here 0 0.2 as an alpha value. And if I save this, refresh, you can see here now we have a nice background color set here and you can see the grid lines being shown clearly. Of course, what we could do as well here, if we're going to say here before the data sets, save that, refresh, you will still see these grid lines because we have transparency. But if I make this on one, you will see that it now changes. And now you don't see any more those grid lines. And of course here, since we have a black color here, maybe we need to change something else. We can make this white. So we can still see our bar, our black bar, but you can see here the background has disappeared or the grid lines has disappeared. And same here, if you do this after the data sets, then of course what we will get is a fully white item. That's not what we want. We want to make sure that this is all back to before. Let's save that refresh. And now you can see that including the grid lines shown here nicely.